Hi friends, I am Lalit Vasist and you are watching Engineering Made Easy. Here we are going to calculate the area of the shaded region which has been shown in red color. Friends, this problem is very interesting and important because with the help of this problem we will revise a various theorems of a circle related to its tangency, some concepts of trigonometry and also how to calculate the area of the sector of a circle and area of triangle. So let's see how to solve this problem. I'm sure you are going to enjoy it. So watch this video till the end. Here the area of the shaded part we need to calculate and the things that are given here are angle OBA which is equal to 30 degrees. Here this angle is 30 degrees and we are also given the circumference of the circle which is equals to 8 pi. So without wasting time let's get started. So first of all to calculate the area of this shaded region in red color we need to know how we are going to calculate it. So for this first we need to calculate the area of this triangle OAB and after getting the area of this triangle we will subtract the area of this sector okay this part of this circle okay from this area of triangle and we will get the area of this shaded region. So our first step is to calculate the area of this triangle. We know we are given angle ABO is 30 degrees. So you see here that uh, we are given the circumference of the circle which is equals to 8 pi and from this circumference we can calculate the radius of this circle and this radius will be the one side of this triangle we will get one side and then we will use trigonometry we have one side and one angle we can use trigonometry to find other sides of the triangle okay any side that we want and from that we will get the area of the triangle and after getting area of this triangle we will calculate the area of this sector okay this sector and we will subtract that sector area from the area of triangle to get this shaded region area okay so let's see how to solve this problem so this is the same figure we have shown it with dots instead of a complete uh, red color shaded region as the circumference of the circle is given by the formula 2 pi r and this 2 pi r given is given to us equal to 8 pi circumference is given here 8 pi so from this this pi cancels out and we get 2 r equals to 8 and r is equals to 4 so we got the radius r radius r is oa actually so the one side of this triangle oa we got 4 okay now one angle of this triangle is 30 degrees okay and uh, one side we have got 4 4 units now I will show you one important uh, theorem of a uh, circle related to its tangent. You see this is the circle in blue color and uh, AB is a tangent to the circle at point A. So A is the point of tangency. So if I join the point of uh, tangency uh, of the circle to its center then this radius that we got is perpendicular to the tangent. This is an important theorem of the circle its formal definition is a tangent of a circle is perpendicular to the radius of the circle at the point of tangency so it means oa is perpendicular to ab so angle oab is right angle it means is this triangle oab is a right angled triangle so in this right angle triangle we can apply trigonometry to calculate any side of this triangle and we will get simply the area of the triangle so let's see how we do this this is the triangle OAB right angle triangle and in this right angle triangle OAB sine 30 is equals to OA by OB so in right angle triangle OAB the sine 30 degree is equal to OA divided by OB okay it is perpendicular for this angle this is perpendicular and this is hypotenuse so sine 30 is equals to this side OA which is 4 we know divided by OB that we want to calculate so see here in triangle OAB sine 30 is OA by OB so sine 30 we know it is equals to 1 by 2 half 
and OA is 4 radius of the circle divided by OB. From this, we got OB is equals to 4 into 2 equals to 8. So we got OB also. We got OB. We have two sides of this right angle triangle. So to calculate the third side AB, we can use Pythagoras theorem, which says in a right angle triangle, a square of the hypotenuse side is equal to sum of the squares of the other two sides. Other two sides are perpendicular and base. Okay. So we can use it to find AB. So from Pythagoras theorem in triangle, this right angle triangle OAB, AB square plus AO square is equal to hypotenuse, which is OB square. We know AB square. We want to calculate AB square and AO square is the radius, which is 4 square equals to OB square that we just calculated it. So from this, the third side AB, you can easily calculate is equal to 4 root 3, which is very simple. Alternatively, if you don't want to apply this uh, Pythagoras theorem, we could have uh, calculated it without using Pythagoras theorem. That is in triangle OAB, instead of uh, finding uh, sine 30, if we have found uh, 10 30, then you see, if we calculate 10 30, we know that uh, 10 30 is what? What is 10? 10 x? It is perpendicular divided by base. So for this uh, 10 30, what is perpendicular here? O A is a perpendicular side and base is a B. So 10 30 is equals to O A divided by a B. Okay. 10 30 is O A divided by a B and 10 30 is equals to one by root three and O A is a radius of the circle, which is four and a B we want to calculate. So from this AB directly, we can get 4 root 3. Here we also got with the help of Pythagoras, AB equals to 4 root 3. So here, uh, by using this method, we, we don't need to use Pythagoras theorem. So it's better to use this approach. Now we know all the three sides of this triangle, but uh, here we need only these two sides, OA and AB to calculate the area of this right angle triangle. We know area of the triangle is uh, half into base into height. So you can take this side as uh, base. So half of uh, four into height is four root three would be the area of the triangle. So area of the triangle OAB is half base into height. Half of base is four and height is four root three. So eight root three is the area of the triangle. As I told you that uh, area of the shaded region is actually area of the triangle OAB minus area of the sector. Okay, the sector of the circle. So now I need to calculate the area of the sector of this circle. You see here, this is the sector OAC. OAC is the sector. We want to calculate this. So how to calculate this sector area? Actually, you see here that we know that uh, if this angle, focus on this angle, this is 60 degrees angle. Why it is 60 degrees angle? Because this angle is 90 degrees and this is 30 degrees and sum of the three angles of the triangle is 180 degrees. So this is 90 plus 30, which is 120 and this is 180 minus 120, which is 60 degrees. So if the angle subtended at the center by these two radii of the circle is 360 degree, then it will cover the whole area of the circle, which is pi r square. So what would be the area that would be formed with these two radius that are subtending an angle of 60 degrees at the center? We can use a simple method. So as I told you that when the angle is 360 degrees, then it covers pi r square, the whole area of the circle. So from the unitary method, we know if angle is instead of 360, it is a one degrees, then it would cover an area of pi r square divided by 360 degrees. And if it is 60 degrees, which is 60 degrees in our case would be pi r square by 360 into 60 degrees, which comes out to be pi r square by six. So we know the radius r, which is four. So the area of the sector OAC is pi four square by six pi into r square is four square divided by six. So it is eight pi by three. Now the area of the shaded region is simple area of the triangle. We have calculated eight root three 
minus this 8 pi by 3 area of the sector of the circle 8 pi by 3 if you solve this by putting these values of pi and root 3 you will get 5.5 square units so friends in this way we have calculated the area of the shaded region by subtracting the area of this sector of a circle from the area of the triangle hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you really found this video interesting and informative then please don't forget to like and share the video and for more such videos please subscribe to my youtube channel engineering made easy so that you can get the notifications of my latest uploaded videos as soon as i release them so guys thank you for watching this video till the end see you soon in the next video till then bye bye and take care